Hi everyone, I hope you're staying safe and healthy out there. I'm Christopher James Lees, resident conductor for the Charlotte Symphony Orchestra, and I'm recording from the upstairs of my house. Um, like the rest of my CSO family, I'm excited and eager to get back to the stage and have you join us in the hall so that we might once again share in the joyful and exuberant and transformational experience of hearing live music together. And classical music has been around for more than 500 years and has endured through every category of global event. And we know that when we get to the other side of this moment, the music will still be around and the CSO will be here to entice and invigorate your minds and cells and spirits. Until we get to that moment where we can physically be in the same space again, we're excited to offer some of our performances from the last couple of seasons here on this streaming platform utilizing streaming technology. And hopefully this music can provide some hope and some optimism and some solace and um, comfort in this complicated time. We're going to start, our first release is from November 3rd, 2018, from a performance at the Knight Theater at the Levine Center of the Arts in Uptown. Uh, we were led that night by esteemed Italian conductor Roberto Abbato in Felix Mendelssohn's fourth symphony, his Italian symphony. Now, in 1830, Mendelssohn went from his home in Berlin and traveled for a year around the country of Italy. And he fell in love with the beauty of the natural environment, the sacred majesty of its history, the inspiring art, and the warmth and generosity and personality of Italian citizens. And given Italy's place in the news right now, we wanted to show solidarity in all of those beautiful elements of the country and the culture that are still present today. Mendelssohn's symphony is broken up into four movements. The first is full of energy and vitality, warmth and sunshine. It has an epic sense of propulsion that blasts through from beginning to end. And even the fugue that Mendelssohn writes in the middle of the movement doesn't slow it down for a second. It captures a kind of ethos in Italian culture, which is really beautiful and um, full of momentum and energy. The second movement is a solemn procession. Uh, one can imagine sitting in a square near the Vatican and a set of monks processing slowly and somberly through the square. Mendelssohn writes this music so brilliantly that you can almost see the onlookers at the cafe as they move across the square, and you can almost depict even a couple of pigeons that are watching as well. The third movement's a classic minuet and trio, um, maybe a hat tip to Mendelssohn's Germanic roots, which, and that was pretty typical for third movements at the time. And the last movement, Mendelssohn writes in an Italian dance, a saltarello, which is a kind of jumping dance. And rather than ending in a joyful, exuberant uh, major key, Mendelssohn writes in A minor, which gives the whole symphony a sense of intensity and drama and energy that grounds it in seriousness and singularity of purpose. Mendelssohn whips all of these elements together into this beautiful performance, and we're really glad that you can hear it today. If this, uh, if you've made it to the end of this video, awesome, good for you. Your attention span is ready for Mendelssohn's Symphony Number no. 4. And feel free to like this video, share it with your friends, leave a comment below, and watch this space for more soul-filling and uh, inspirational performances by the talented men and women, the musicians of your Charlotte Symphony Orchestra. We hope to see you all very soon.